हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री अनप्लग्ड सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्टेबिलिटी एंड रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो फर्स्ट वी विल टेक थर्मोडायनेमिक एंड काइनेटिक स्टेबिलिटी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीस टू स्टेबिलिटीज एंड व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट्स स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीस फैक्टर्स यू कैन डिटरमाइन व्हिच कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड वुड बी मोर स्टेबल सो factors are very important then you can follow me on an academy using my name or this link where i am continuously uploading videos on or on organic chemistry and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notification so let's start the video stability term is considered in aqueous phase stability term for complex compounds is considered in aqueous phase and there are two type of stability first is thermodynamic stability and the kinetic stability thermodynamic stability means we are talking what is the tendency of a metal ion to form a complex and how much this complex will be stable after the formation whether it is stable or unstable this is defined by thermodynamic stability and it also defines the tendency to exist in equilibrium condition means you know about the reaction rate and this equilibrium constant okay and if the equilibrium constant is higher means the rate of formation of complex compound is higher it will be more stable so equilibrium defines the stability of complex compound and this type of stability is known as thermodynamic stability so here we take an example so this is a metal ion which forms a complex with water molecule in aqueous solution when it is dissolved in aqueous phase or in water it forms such type of complex and if i add a neutral or monodent and monodentate ligand in a reaction mixture then such type of complex is formed suppose this is the situation equilibrium constant is suppose kf for forward reaction it is kf and we can consider that if kf is greater than 1 this formation is favored right hand side reaction is favored so this complex will be more stable or you can say that ligand is more stable than water because ligand can replace this water molecule and attach with metal ion so formation of this complex is favored means so ligand more is stronger than water more is stronger and if kf is less than 1 less than 1 means this formation is not favored but reaction is going in backward direction okay so it is less than 1 means ligand is ligand is less stronger or you can say water is more stronger less stronger or weaker than water this equilibrium coefficient or this constant is also known as stability constant or formation constant and it is a measure of thermodynamic stability of a complex okay so stability constant and formation constant is a measure of thermodynamic stability of complex kf is also related with del g and del e this is standard free energy and this is standard electrode potential so del g not is equal to minus rt log n kf del g is also equal to minus nf e not so we can relate these two term from this equation nfe not is equal to rt log n kf so we can relate kf with e not from this equation and if del g not is negative higher negative means reaction is favored in forward direction we know that that if a reaction is favored then it's change in free energy will be negative kinetic stability defines how fast a compound reacts rather than how stable it is kinetic stability defines that 
what is the reaction rate if it is fast then kinetic stability will be fast it is not defines about the stability of complex formed after the reaction it only defines the rate of reaction with which it forms a complex so kinetic stability is related to activation energy if activation energy of a reaction is low its kinetic stability will be high because rate of reaction will be high in that case so kinetic stability is governed by activation energy and rate constant so now you can understand that what is the difference between thermodynamic stability and kinetic stability thermodynamic stability defines the tendency of equilibrium okay and kinetic stability defines rate of formation of a complex it doesn't tell about stability of complex formed after the reaction so kinetic stability is of two type labile and inert on the basis of kinetic stability we can divide complexes into two parts labile complex and inert complex labile complex are the complex for which rate of reaction is fast and for lab inert complexes rate of reaction is slow it is the difference between kinetic and thermodynamic stability we will later discuss more about labile and inert complex how we can determine which which complex will be labile and which will be inert on the basis of vbt cft we will discuss about later so next we will take step wise formation of a complex it is again part of thermodynamic stability suppose we have a complex in which m is a metal ion and n is the number of ligand molecules and l is ligand this will be the reaction and for this the constant is suppose beta so beta is equal to m ln this will be the constant now we want to find out what are the different steps in formation of this complex so we will take one 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 ligand attachment one by one attachment of ligand so suppose at a time one ligand is attaching with m and this is the reaction and for this equilibrium constant is k1 for this equilibrium constant is k2 for this equilibrium constant is k3 and likewise we have so suppose these are the different steps involved in formation of m l n so beta is equal to k1 into k2 into k3 and so on till k n so beta is product of all the equilibrium constants we can identify individual equilibrium constant suppose k1 is equal to product of ml upon m into l similarly we can find out the values of k2 k3 and kn so one relationship is beta is equal to product of all equilibrium constant we can also write it like log beta n is equal to log k1 plus log k2 and so on so these are two important equations next important thing is k1 is greater than k2 and least is the value for k so this is the general tendency of k equilibrium constants but there are few exceptions also we will take an example here cadmium plus 2 forms a complex with ammonia and this complex is suppose cd nh3 whole 4 plus 2 so what are the different steps involved in this reaction first cadmium will attach with one ammonia and will give you and k1 for this equation is 10 to the power 2.65 next step is this complex will attach with second molecule of ammonia and will give you k2 value equal to 
10 to the power 2.1 similarly for the attachment of third and fourth molecules of ammonia and you will get k3 value equal to 10 to the power 1.44 and k4 is equal to 10 to the power 0.93 so if you look at the values of k1 k2 k3 and k4 they are following this tendency k1 is highest then k2 then k3 and k4 is the lowest so what are the different regions involved in this tendency of equilibrium constant first reason is when you are replacing water molecules one by one or attaching ligands to the metal ion steric hindrance increases with the increase in the number of ligand molecule second region is if a ligand is charged in nature then charge ligands can repel each other okay so this is another region and next region is that probability of replacement of water from ligand is decreases with the increase in number of ligand so these are the different region for decrease in the value of equilibrium constant but as i said earlier there are few exceptions also so let's take exceptions so when we dissolve iron in water it forms a complex with iron with water feh2 whole 6 plus 2 now we want to form another complex of iron with bipyridine so we will add bipyridyl one by one so in the first step one water molecule two water molecules are replaced by bipyridyl because it is a bidentate ligand and water is monodentate ligand in second step one more molecule of bipyridyl is added and again two water molecules will be removed and in last step all the water molecules are removed so in third step both the water molecules are removed and this is final product final complex and these are the different equilibrium constant for this reaction k1 k2 and k3 or the formation constants these are the different formation constant the tendency of these three constants follow this sequence k1 is highest than k2 and k2 is less than k3 so what is the reason of this change if you look at these complexes these two complexes this one and this one involves water molecule and water molecule is a weak field ligand so you will get high spin complexes in this case fe plus 2 and fe plus 2 has d6 electron so in case of these two complexes this will be the stability pattern they will form high spin complexes and if you calculate crystal field splitting energy for this one you will get a value of 0.62 into 2 and 4 into 0.4 minus 0.4 so the final value is minus 0.4 delta naught this is for these two type complex and if you get this type of complex then bipyridyl will cause higher splitting so low spin complex will form so in case of d6 you will get this type of complex so the crystal field stable stability energy cfse for this case is 6 into minus 0.4 is minus 2.4 delta naught so crystal field splitting energy is higher for this complex and when you have higher cfse value means complex will be more stable so in that case if you find any change a change in cfse can cause change in the value of formation constant so this is the region of high value of k3 then next is factors affecting stability of a complex 
so first we will take nature of central metal ion next is nature of ligand third factor is chelating effect fourth is macrocyclic effect fifth is resonance and sixth factor is steric hindrance so first we will take nature of central metal ion and in under this category we will take first charge on metal ion so metal ion has higher oxidation state it forms stable complexes with halides ammonia and water and if a metal ion is in the low oxidation state then it forms a stable complex with co pme3 ophenanthrolene and bipyridyl such type of ligands can have pi star molecular orbital in which they can accommodate electrons they have vacant pi star orbital so they can accept electrons from metal ion and if a metal ion has low oxidation state means it has higher number of d electrons or electrons to provide ligands so low oxidation state metal ion can form stable complexes with the ligands having vacant pi star molecular orbital and higher oxidation state metal ion forms stable complexes with halides ammonia and water next factor is size of metal cation if ligand is same and metals are in same oxidation state if in a example they given you same ligands attached with a metal ion and oxidation state is suppose also same plus 2 state then how you can find out which complex will be more stable so for this you need irving william series so this Ir irving william series is so in this series metals ion are placed according to their sizes so size is decreasing when you are when we are moving from left to right till cu plus 2 the size is decreasing and stability is increasing size is decreasing and stability of complex formation is increasing but as we move from cu plus 2 zinc plus 2 size of zinc plus 2 is higher than cu plus 2 that is why it has less stable it forms less stable than cu plus 2 so according to this eric william series you can find out which complex will be more stable next factor is class a and class b metals so class a metals are hard acids hard metal hard acids and hard hard metals are highly electropositive in nature they have small sizes and their oxidation state is also high an example of hard acids are alkali metals alkali earth metals and transition metals in higher oxidation states so these are the types of class a metals then these class a metals form stable complexes with ligands containing elements of group 15 16 and 17 nitrogen oxygen and fluorine groups so in these groups fluorine fluorides with fluorides they have highest stability than with chloride then bromide and then with iodide this is a this is for class a metals similarly for nitrogen group they have highest stability with nitrogen then phosphorus then arsenic and least with antimony then in oxygen group they has highest stability with oxygen than with sulfur selenium and then for tellurium so this is for class a metals then class b metals are also known as soft metals or you can call them soft acids then soft metals are less electropositive they have less tendency to give their electrons 
that they have relatively full d orbitals and metal ligate bond is covalent in case of class b metals and in case of class a metals or hard metals they have tendency to form electrovalent bonds electrostatic bonds so these are the examples of these two type of classes and class b in case of class b metals the tendency to form stable complexes with these ligands is just opposite of class a so highest stability with iodide in case of halogen family then for bromide and least for fluoride similarly in case of nitrogen family they have tendency to form stable complexes with antimony then arsenic then phosphorus and least stable with nitrogen then in case of oxygen family highest stable complex with tellurium selenium then sulfur and low with oxygen so these are the two types of metals then borderline metals are the metals which have properties in between these two classes and example of borderline metals are di positive metals of 3d so example of this is mn plus 2 iron plus 2 cobalt plus 2 nickel plus 2 copper plus 2 and zinc plus 2 and we all know the stability sequence of these metals and this is according to irving william series there this is the stability of these metal ions so these are the borderline complexes borderline metals then we will take next factor that is nature of ligand so we will remember some key points that for higher stability ligand should be basic in nature means it has high tendency to give up their electrons next thing is higher the covalent character higher the covalent character higher will be the stability then pi bonding capacity and last is dipole moment of ligand so these are four factors which generally governs the nature of ligand and stability of complex first we will take basic nature basic nature means more tendency to donate electrons so suppose if we have an example here and we have a complex of suppose manganese and this mn plus 2 is forming complex with ammonia fluoride and water so among these three ligands ammonia has highest tendency to give their electrons because nitrogen fluorine and oxygen atom they are electronegative atoms but electronegativity of nitrogen is lowest among them so they ha it has highest tendency to donate its electron so its basic nature is high so this is the order of basic nature and this is the order of stability also then we will take higher the covalent character higher will be the stability suppose we have a complex of ag plus at this complex is with halides so we are taking here ag i2 minus these are four complexes and if you look at these complexes it is highest it it has lowest covalent character and it has highest covalent character okay if you know fazan's rule covalent character so this is the decreasing order of covalent character and this is also the decreasing order of stability stability and covalent character are directly proportional then we will take pi bonding capacity so the ligands which have pi bonding capacity are stable in nature or they form stable complexes like co cn phenanthrolin bipyridyl these are the complexes which form pi bonding which 
with metal ions so they are stable they form stable complexes then dipole moment in case of neutral ligands stability increases with increase in dipole moment so in case of ammonia so in case of ammonia ethylamine diethylamine and triethylamine the highest dipole moment is for ammonia then for ethylamine diethylamine and lowest for triethylamine so same is the order for stability when ammonia form a complex with a metal ion it is more stable than ethylamine diethylamine and triethylamine so this is the order of stability also next we will take chelate effect so the complexes which form chelating complexes are more stable we know the meaning of chelate chelate formation is polydentate ligands have more than one donor atoms so they can form more than one coordination bond with metal ion so the bond form between so polydentate ligands are known as chelating ligands and the complexes formed with metal are known as chelating complexes when such type of ligands form complexes with metal ion such type of complexes are known as chelating complexes and they are more stable than complex formed by monodentate ligands suppose we have three complexes of cadmium one is with methyl amine ethylene diamine and third one is with triethyl triethyl tetraamine so these are three complexes and this one is monodentate ligand it is bidentate ligand and it is tetradentate ligand so in that case the stability order is highest for this one then for this and lowest for methyl amine so what is the reason of highest stability of this complex suppose as these complexes are formed by aqua complex of cadmium so when we combine this complex with methylamine four molecules of methylamine then we will have this complex then we combine with this complex with ethylene diamine two molecules of ethylene diamine we get this molecule here we have four molecules of water similarly here we also have four molecules of water in next case same aqua complex and here we have one molecule of chain because it is tetradentate ligand so only one molecule is required okay so and here again you have four molecules of water so if you look at the entropy of reaction then for this reaction initial entropy is s1 is 5 1 this for these molecule so it is 5 and s2 is 1 and 5 so change in entropy is zero for this case initial entropy is 3 and final entropy is 5 and for this case initially you have entropy 1 and final entropy is 5 so for this entropy is positive and for last one it is more positive so highest entropy for third reaction and next for second one and lowest for first reaction so you know that if a reaction is more feasible if a reaction as has highest entropy change it is more feasible and reverse is the relationship with with del g so if you relate it with free energy change then free energy change is equal to del h minus t del s and if you have high value of s del g will become more stable 
सपोज डेल एच इज सेम फॉर ऑल दीज रिएक्शन एंड इट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम बिकॉज बाइंडिंग इन विद विद सेम मेटल आयन एंड लाइक एंड बाइंडिंग विद द मेटल आयन हैविंग सेम मेटल नाइट्रोजन इन ऑल केसेस सो डेल जी इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम फॉर थ्री रिएक्शन टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो सेम बट डेल एस इज इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू थर्ड सो डेल जी वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग इन नेगेटिव मैनर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू थर्ड इट हैज हाइएस्ट नेगेटिव वैल्यू दैन फॉर सेकेंड रिएक्शन एंड लोएस्ट नेगेटिव फॉर द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन दैट इज वाई दिस रिएक्शन इज मोर फीजेबल दैन दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज मोर फीजेबल दैन दिस वन सो दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज higher has highest stability than this one and then this one so this is chelating effect next we will take macrocyclic effect macrocyclic complexes are even more stable than chelating complexes and what is macrocyclic effect in macrocyclic effect the complexes form is like this suppose this is central metal ion and ligand form a complex and metal ion is present in a cavity formed by ligand molecules so this is macrocyclic effect and because of this effect complex formed are more stable than chelating effect so macrocyclic complexes are formed by chlorophyll molecule hemoglobin myoglobin such type of such type of complexes shows more stability than chelating effect so next we will take next factor is resonance effect resonance effect increases the stability of complex ion suppose we have acetyl acetonate so acetyl acetonate is like this so this ligand can show such type of resonance and because of this resonance it forms stable complexes then last factor is steric effect whenever you find a steric effect in a complex then its stability decreases for example i have a complex of cobalt and this complex is suppose chelating ligand like ethylene diamine this is one complex and in another complex we again have a chelating ligand but this ligand is little bit different because in this ligand this carbon of ethylene diamine is further substituted by two molecules of methyl and because of this region this complex is less stable than this one this is more stable so these are different factors these factors are very important and if you understand them clearly then you are able to solve many problems and on basis of these effects you can find out which is which complex is more stable okay in next chapter we will take different reactions and their mechanism of complex so keep watching my channel please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you